hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create this crazy typographic animation inside of after effects without using any plugins so without wasting any more time let's get started <laughs> So here we are in After Effects. Now let's create a new composition. I'll call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 1080, frame rate is 30, and duration is 1.30 seconds. And background color, I'll choose solid black color and hit OK. Choose Grid and Guide option and Title Safe Action. Now hit Ctrl N on keyboard and I'll call it as Text Strip. Width, I'll take 120 and for the height i'll choose 900 and background color is solid black and hit ok so we are getting something like this now press ctrl y on keyboard to create a white solid background i'll choose white color and hit ok and lock this white solid now choose text tool and type motion design hit ctrl a you can choose any font you want for now i'll choose nexa bold press ctrl alt home go to the align tab and align it to the center press r on keyboard and rotate it on minus 90 degree press s for scaling option and scale it a little bit so we are getting something like this if you want then you can increase the space between this now hit p on keyboard create one keyframe over here go to three seconds and by holding selection tool we, by holding shift we are moving it over here by holding shift now hit ctrl d on keyboard hit u and select this keyframes go to three seconds and select this first text and parent with this second one so we are getting something like this and alt click on this position property and type loop out expression so we will get this looping animation now we will go over main composition and i will drag this text strip over here so we are getting something like this now hit ctrl d on keyboard by holding shift move it over here and by using anchor point mover if you are not seeing this go to windows and you can choose animation composer anchor point mover but before that you need to install this animation composer it's a free plugin so do check it out i'll provide the link in the description so choose this animation composer and i'll move this anchor point over here zoom in a little bit and by holding ctrl i'll snap it over here now again hit ctrl d and by holding shift i'll drag it over here and i'll move this anchor point over here and by holding ctrl i'll snap it again hit ctrl d by holding shift move it over here and by holding ctrl i'll just snap it over here now this is our main so i'll type text strip and main i'll parent this one with this main also this one with our main and this one with this second one so hit ctrl a and make it 3d and press r on keyboard for rotation property select this one and rotate on this let's make it plus 90 select this one and make it minus 90 select this one and make it minus 90 again so after that what we are gonna do is we will create one null object so right click in this blank space go to new and create null object and also make that null object a 3d go to this active camera panel and move it to the top and as we can see we will move this null to 
the center of this rectangle I mean square and parent this main text strip main with this null now if you go to the active camera and if we hit R on keyboard we are getting this rotation properties I will move it to fit and if I rotate this on Y axis we are getting this kind of animation I will choose quarters so now what we will do is we will create a looping expression on this Y I will click on this stopwatch I will type loop not loop but time star let's make it 50 so it will rotate or you can make it 150 just like this now what we will do is we will select this two tech two layers and we will apply not two but this one and we will apply tint effect on it and we will swap this as we can see we are getting now I will select this one this second one and I will apply tint effect again and I will swap this something like this so we are getting this kind of animation now what I'll do is I'll hit U, hit Ctrl A, select all this, hit Ctrl Shift C, and I'll call it as text animation, and hit OK. Double click on this text animation, hit Ctrl K on keyboard. Now we will make it 200 width, and for the height I'll choose. 1000 hit ok just like this now go to our main animation we are getting this kind of effect now press ctrl y on keyboard and hit ok it will create one solid background over here and now we will apply CC repertile effect increase it on the right side also increase it on the left side now go to the text animation crop hit ctrl k and decrease a little bit let's say 120 go to the main combination so we are getting this kind of animation you can also increase it at downwards let's say 100 and upward 100 so I try to increase it press R on keyboard so you can also rotate it and increase it So we are getting something like this if you want then you can create one adjustment layer by hitting ctrl alt y and apply tint effect on it and you can simply swap these colors or you can change the colors you are free to choose whatever color you want can swap this also you can choose white or you can select this text layer or you can apply drop shadow effect if you want increase the distance and softness so we are getting this kind of animation 
so yep this is our sorry our final typographic animation thank you for watching this tutorial guys if you like this video then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates until then stay tuned